everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today, this video almost didn't happen. And in the last two days, it's been pretty crazy. So let me explain. do this in this video at all but just because everything just was completely crazy with this with me okay try to be quiet so with me trying to get this video out today for you guys um it didn't go as planned like i wanted it to so in the last couple of days some of our vehicles broke down and today i put in a walmart order and they went to go pick it up, chancing that my vehicle was gonna make it to Walmart. And I did, I made it to Walmart, sat there, sat there, sat there. And they came to my car and they're like, um, do you have an order today? And I was like, yeah, I have an order, it's right here. And I didn't realize somehow the address got changed and it was in another town over. So it was like 30 minutes away. And I already was chancing going there with my vehicle. I didn't have any kids with me, it was just me. So if anything happened, um, then my Lauren could have came and picked me up or whatever. Um, so I get there and I'm like, okay, it is like 12 o'clock, 12.30. I still have to make lunch. I still need to put the video out for today. I still need to get everything for the video, plus my grocery haul that I was gonna do. And I can't do it anymore. So I come home. What? I, well, can we now? I have to do the video first. I thought you were, I thought we have to be quiet because I can't. Yeah. Okay, gotta be quiet. Okay, so I get home, quick help the kids kind of get organized and get things um, ready for lunch or whatever with me being completely crazy and mm, almost having like a crazy breakdown. What? On the fridge. Yep. Okay. So what I ended up doing, come home, I came home and then I made sure everybody was uh, good and taken care of or whatever and got done going crazy. And I ran to festival because I had to get things for tomorrow. Plus I have to still go tomorrow and get my groceries because I have to do the order over now. I think it's saved in my shopping cart, but I have to like go through because some of it was taken off. So I have to go through now and see what I need and what I need to get rid of or whatever. So that'll be fine, that'll work out. But today it was mainly getting this um, video done and showing you guys um, for today's video. So I didn't know how I was gonna do it, but I made it home. And um, so yesterday when we were driving Gage to work, Lauren had the other car, so I had to use my van and also my check engine light came on. Oh no, that is a possible fuel pump or something. I don't know. So anyways, when I was driving back to town today, the light went off. So now we're like, is it still needed? But um, my cousin is actually gonna look at it on Monday cause he has a shop. So we're gonna go to him and uh, just go see and get it checked out or whatever. But I made it home. I have everything here, all my stuff here, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing. So I found a picture, I'll leave it like right here somewhere. But um, I found a picture on Pinterest of what I wanna follow on a charcuterie board, a Christmas tree charcuterie board. And tonight I'm going to my last class at church and we were to bring, I think bring a snack and then like a white elephant gift or whatever. That was my other thing is I put my gift on my Walmart order and I couldn't even get it. So I had to get something at festival that was totally completely, not something that I wanted to get, but it's gonna have to work. So let me show you what I got and let's get started with today's video. I'm gonna start out with my charcuterie board that I use on my other ones. I wasn't even gonna use this. I was just gonna get a pan and line it with parchment paper. But I'm gonna use this one. All I did is flip it over. Yeah. What? Can we do it now? You gotta wait till I'm done. I'm not even. I didn't even start yet. I will. If you can go, how about you go right at this chair right here and get some paper. Get some paper first. Okay. Go in my bedroom. Get paper. Okay. And sit in Gage's spot, and then you can play with it there. If you can be very quiet. 
Okay, so I, I all I did is flip it over. On the other side, it has like three little pockets on it. So I am I'm just gonna flip it over and do it here. I'm just gonna use this, but I have my sausage. I probably won't use both, but I know my kids are gonna want. I just asked them if they wanted some crackers and cheese too. So get this. Um, usually when I do mine, I don't use the blocks. I usually just get the slices and then I cut them in like fours, four, yeah, one fourths. <laughs> I cut them in fourths and um, that's how I do it. But otherwise, where this one is like cubed. So we're gonna do this. So I have string cheese, I have pepper jack, I have marble jack, and then I have Wisconsin white. So we're gonna use that. And this is just part of the decoration part, cranberries for the decoration, just like, you know, the tree and then um, ornaments and stuff. Full grain seed crackers. I got these crackers. I have these crisp and buttery. I have some like a generic Ritz. And then I thought this would be cool, uh, roasted garlic. This is something different that what was than what was on there. Um, and some of my crackers are different. So I got these, I figured I could put these at the top of the tree. And then I have these oval shaped crackers. And then I have just another one of these. So that's all I have um, to make this. So what I'm gonna do first is cut these up in cubes and then I'm gonna lay it out and show you how it turns out. I got everything cut up. Sorry, I got my thing right here, but I have everything cut up and ready to go. Um, I think I'm gonna start out with the bigger circle one. Here, let me move this one. All right, so I think I'm gonna start out with the bigger circle ones, and then I have, it goes small, like medium, smaller, smaller, and then like the weird shape one, and then the tiny circle ones for the top part. Um, on Pinterest, the video only showed one layer of sausage, but because I want my tree to be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna add another layer of sausage. So we're gonna get started with that and see if I can somewhat put it together like um, the picture that I showed you. So hopefully it turns out good. So I finished the board, the Christmas tree charcuterie board. This is what it looks like. I just had to lay some extra stuff down just so I can do the thumbnail for the picture or whatever, but I'm gonna leave everything like this and then I'm just gonna take some saran wrap and wrap it for tonight. And hopefully I can get it there without it moving. So what I was gonna do is put it on a pan like with a little lid on it or like a little lip you know, like a cookie sheet and line it with parchment paper. That way, if the crackers move around, then they wouldn't go all over the place. Um, but I wanted it to look good. So that's why I picked that board. But 
Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, I am going to be sharing another one, I think, next week because my kids have youth group. So mine is for my church group for tonight. And then um, the kids have one next week. And that one's going to be fun too because it's going to be more Christmassy and um, fun stuff. So I still do the sausage and cheese and all that stuff, crackers. But they're going to have candy and different things on theirs. And I'm going to make two of them just because I think uh, they have two different groups there. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But um, I have all this extra stuff. I have everything just laying out um, and the extra cheese. So what I think I'm going to do is just pack it up in little baggies. And if the ladies want to have more of um, something, they can just grab it from the bag. Um, but I wanted to bring something and I've been really liking doing these boards. So I thought it would be fun to bring a Christmas one tonight. So, but... Otherwise, hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.